In this video, we're going to find the equation of the tangent lines to a graph at a certain point. First, before we talk about the tangent lines, let's just remember how to find the equation of a straight line. In this course, the equation of a straight line, we can write it in a slope-intercept form, as you see on the top right. So where you have the gradient or the slope, and then you have the y-intercept, which is the c. Or you can write it in any of the other two forms that we have in the formula booklet. In the formula booklets, we also have the slope, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, how do we find the equation of a straight line? What we need to know is the slope and another point on our line. So if we do an example, what is the equation of the line that passes through the point 2 and 6 and has a slope of 4? So by having a slope of 4, I can write the equation as y is equal to 4x plus c, a certain y-intercept. And in order to find what this y-intercept is, then we can substitute the point 2 and 6 for the x and y, respectively. So we get 6 is equal to 4 times 2 plus c. And by solving this, we get that the value of c is going to be negative 2. Therefore, the equation of this straight line would be y is equal to 4x minus 2. Now these steps we are going to be repeating uh, as we're doing all of our tangent line questions. The only difference is we're going to be obtaining the slope of the line by using the derivative. So one extra step here. Another important reminder is going to be that parallel lines have the same slope, and we're going to see this a few times. And the final reminder for today is that any horizontal line, the slope of the horizontal line is equal to zero. So we can remember that, and the equation of the horizontal line is y is equal to whatever that y value is. Now let's talk about the tangent lines. The steps we're going to be using to find the equation of the tangent line is first we're going to need to find the point on the function if that's not already given to us. So we need to know what is the point exactly on the function in which we want to find the tangent line. Once we have this point, then we're going to find the derivative function because we're going to need the derivative function to substitute the value of x in order to find the slope of the tangent line at that specific value. Once we have the slope and we have a point on the line, then we can do exactly what we did in the first example of this video and find the equation of the tangent line. So let's do an example together. Find the tangent line to the function x cubed minus 8 when x is equal to 2. So first we need to find out what is the point that we are looking for, which is on the function. We know x is equal to 2, therefore I can replace the x-coordinate by 2 in my function, and I get the y-coordinate is 0. Therefore the point in which we are looking for the tangent line is going to be the coordinate 2, and 0. I'm going to be using this coordinate in my final step. Now the next step is going to be to find the derivative. So the function is x cubed minus 8, therefore the derivative of this function is 3x squared. We're going to use the derivative function in order to find the slope at this point 2, 0. So I'm going to replace 2, the x value, into my derivative, and I get that the derivative is 12. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line is 12 at this point. So I can write the equation of the straight line as y is equal to 12x plus c, and we are going to solve for our y-intercept by replacing our coordinate, 2 being the x and 0 being the y. And then by solving, we get that c is equal to negative 24. Therefore, the equation of the tangent line is 12x minus 24. Let's do some more examples to understand how to find the tangent line. Example 2. Find the equation of the tangent line to the function at the point x is equal to 1. So first step, we are going to find what is the point when x is equal to 1. So we're going to replace 1 by the x value into our function. And we're going to get that the value of y is 2. Therefore, I'm interested in the point 1, 2. Second step, let's find the derivative. So the derivative of this function, x squared, the derivative of that is 2x plus 1. The derivative is 0. 
Once we have the derivative function, now let's find the slope of the tangent line when x is equal to 1. So I replace 1 by the value of x in my tangent, in my derivative function, and I get that the slope is equal to 2. And the final step is going to be to find the equation of this tangent line. So my equation is y is equal to 2x plus a certain y-intercept. And then I'm going to use the point, uh, which is the point we were looking for the equation of the tangent line. And I'm going to substitute the x and y. And I get that 2 is equal to 2 plus c. And then I can subtract by 2 on both sides. And I get that c is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation of the tangent line is y is equal to 2x. Now let's try another example, a little bit more complicated. Find the equation of any, so probably more than one, horizontal tangents. Now what does it mean to have a horizontal tangent? That's, an, that's a line that is horizontal, such as this. Therefore, then the slope of the horizontal line is equal to zero. So if we're wondering when we have a horizontal tangent, the slope of this line is equal to zero. Therefore, this is when the derivative is equal to zero. So this is when the derivative itself is equal to zero. So very important to understand for horizontal tangents. And since we have a cubic function, right, a cubic function looks something like this. We're going to have two points at which we're going to have a horizontal tangent. These horizontal tangents happen at a maximum or at a minimum. So let's go find out when these are happening using the derivative. So let's first find out what is the derivative of this function. So the derivative of this function would be 3x squared minus 12. And we're going to find out when we have a horizontal tangent. Horizontal tangent. So I'm asking myself, when is the derivative equal to 0? And in order to solve this, I can graph it on my calculator. So if I go into my calculator, 3x squared minus 12 and then I go and graph this, I need to see when it's equal to zero. So I'm looking for its zeros. Second function, trace zero, and I can go to the left of the zero, and then again to the right of the zero, and then I guess, and we get that this happens when x is equal to negative two. And then I want you to repeat this process for the next x value. And for the next x value, you get when x is equal to 2. So therefore, these are the two values at which we are going to have a horizontal tangent. And the question says, find the equation of these lines. Any horizontal has the equation y is equal to a number. So let's find out what is the y value at each of these points. So first, let's ask ourselves the question, when x is equal to negative 2, what is the function equal to? So y is equal to negative 2 cubed minus 12 times negative 2 plus 2. You can either do it this way, or you can use your GC calculator, right? So if I don't want to have the derivative, I would just want to have the normal function. So I could put in x cubed minus 12x plus 2. And I see the cubic function here. I'm going to change my window a little bit. The y doesn't seem to be, the y minimum and maximum don't seem to be large enough. So let's change that to negative 30 and positive 30. Maybe we'll have a better window. There we go. And then I want to know what's happening when x is equal to negative 2. So trace negative 2. We get that our y value is equal to 18. So this will be one of our tangent equation. And then I want to know what is the other one. So I want to know what's happening when x is equal to positive 2, trace 2. We get that y is equal to negative 14. And that would be the second equation of the tangent line. Now example 4. We have find where the tangent of this function at 1 
4 meets the curve again. I'm going to start this question, and then I would like you to finish this one for homework. Yeah? In our graphing calculator, let's go ahead and graph what the function looks like. And let's see what this function looks like. There we go. So we have our function, and then we have a point. And they're asking us to find the tangent at 1, 4. So like we did before, this is going to give us the equation of a straight line. And then we want to know what is the intersection point between the straight line, so between the tangent line, and our function. So they're going to meet at 1, 4, but they're also going to intersect at another point. So if I copy what I have on my graph right now, something like this. So at 1, 4, we're going to have the tangent line. Now this is not drawn perfectly. And at some other point on the graph, notice how this tangent line is then going to intersect our function. And this is the coordinate that we are looking for. So complete this question and bring your answer to class.